Welcome back to Paradise here on the island of Bali. We've got a beautiful heat just getting started with Felipe Toledo taking on Pedersen Crisanto and Jacob Wilcox capitalized on a huge wild card opportunity back at Bells. Wilcox making finals day there, got the call up to compete once again. Um, took down some uh, some big names along the way, that's for sure. Koloha and Dino being one of them. Hitting it off the roof is Wilcox, the wild card. Conditions are perfect at the moment, though. Have a look at that. So clean on this peak on the inside for the wild card. Wilcox into his second move. Solid power hack and belts the finish. Wilcox laying low, but he won't get credit for the final turn. In saying that, you get some of the craziest tubes out here. So, yeah, around about that four to six foot range, I reckon, is where you want to see it. Wilcox swinging on the backhand. Third wave so far in the matchup. Hard off the bottom, clean little carve through the section, but it's going to be soft, incomplete on that final turn. Uh, you, you have that brain fade moment, you know, sometimes it happens and it's, uh, it's what makes you get back up and, and, and sort of try harder next time. Deep on this one is Toledo getting started. Big vertical fin throw. Taps the white water into a wrapping cutback. You know, looking at the conditions, it was a no brainer to pick this guy. Because look how fast he is between his maneuvers through the lip again and um, you know just out on the open face so toledo looking sharp a little bit off uh, a little bit off timing there on the on the opening wave and you can expect that from these top guys once they get warmed up it's it's going to be fireworks but nice bottom turn gets his body in the right position throws the tail out of the back of the wave i mean look at the spray flying through the air felipe getting a lot more powerful as he gets a little bit older and, uh, and there's that little bit off balance, but corrects it nicely. It makes it almost look like that was meant to be there from Felipe. And then right behind him, Pedersen goes for the massive air. That back foot comes off. You know, I, I keep going back to saying uh, Sean Thompson with that old classic saying, you're not a complete pro until you rip in Hawaii. Always love the stories, especially coming from the legendary Sean Thompson. If you want to keep those aces in the pocket, then that's what you've got to do. And that's uh, the whole part of, of peaking at the right time, you know, saving your best for last, not having to produce your best scores in round number one. Driving down the line is Toledo. He's got a pep in his step. There's the ramp. Massive loft <laughs> above the lip. What was that, Strider? <laughs> Landing that thing without a problem. This is what we we're waiting for. And have a look at this, uh, underneath the priority of everyone, Toledo widens the stance and takes off. Landing absolutely perfect is Felipe Toledo. Joe, you know when that stance widens and that foot gets right back on the pad, we know something special is going to happen. You can see each turn the foot gets further and further back until he hits that kick pad. Clear for takeoff. Toledo Airlines, have a look at that, beautiful. Some more of a flatter spin. But the landing is so impressive, nice and clean. Bows the head almost, uh, takes a bow to Felipe Toledo. And you talk about excellent scores, Toledo at Trestles, you know, where you can't afford to let a wave go because he'll drop a big score on you. Wilcox deep on this one, he's down. I mean, when everyone was making their picks yesterday, Joe, uh, I, I mean, I can't believe that uh, not more people picked Felipe Toledo. 12 minutes to go in the water with the wild card, Jacob Wilcox belting the lip. Pin throw, reverse in transition. Keeping that backhand off the lip and working this little one foot <laughs> section to pieces. Wow. Just giving so much speed. And then Jacob, beautiful backside rotator. I mean, he's doing his best to get himself up into that number one spot. It's going to be a tall order though. The flare, because Toledo's still heating up. Coming around the corner, a little front side power gouge in the pocket, a tail high reverse. <laughs> It's like watching a video game, Potts. I know. I mean, it's it's probably better than a video game. I mean, you couldn't, you couldn't imagine to do stuff like that on a video game. But Felipe Toledo showing why he is uh, one to watch here. That's for sure, Joe. Uh, making it quite clear that he's the man to watch. Watch that bottom turn there. How much speed he gets off those little bottom turns. And it's not almost setting that rail. It's just those quick... And especially the surfers with a little bit of everything. Airs and power carve combinations like this man, Toledo, who's in motion. Just up and out. You know, watch Toledo in the next few years as he grows and works out these other ways that he really doesn't have an advantage at. He's going to turn that into a positive. 8.55 on the clock. Priorities with Patterson. And decides to take this wave. Crisanto off the bottom. 
Clean rail work back to the pocket. Got oh. a little bit soft on him on the second turn. The score's not going to help him out too much with 8.30 to go. 8.22 now. Gorgeous conditions. Glassy. Perfect little peak. So what more could you ask for for an opening day? Wilcox trying to play catch up on the right. Backhand float. He'll step up. A lot of variety on the backhand. Like this maneuver right here. I mean, that's uh, very similar. I suppose a mediocre score out here today. On the move is Jacob Wilcox. Scattered peaks at the moment here at Karamas allows him to create some space. First turn straight down to the bottom for the wild card. Anderson, Felipe, they're full timers. They know they're going to be at Karamas well before the season starts. Wilcox is preparing himself. Down again on the inside, out the back. Pedersen getting started with a huge rapid cutback. There's that carve again. He'll kick out right in front of Wilcox for a two-turn combo. Yeah, I want to see Jacob. I mean, he's caught enough waves now to where he, if he keeps catching the similar waves that he's getting, he's not going to break into that five to six point range, which is kind of what he wants. It's not perfect, Karamas. We've got really fun waves out there, and the strong surfers are really taking advantage of that, looking for those opportunities, making sure they catch plenty of waves, uh, which is a really good thing. So we'll see much of this the same through the day um, today and tomorrow. It drains out so dramatically. So we're going to, guess, keep on swinging through the tide. Front side car for Toledo. He'll sneak out of there. Is the maneuver of the day so far, especially when you focus on theirs. We've seen go down today. We've seen a lot more power carves in the pocket. Let's see what Wilcox has for us. Deep on this one, he has to get out of there. You know, heightened, uh, you finish the year, you're absolutely drained of energy. So it's good to just put the boards away for a couple of weeks and hang with the family. Now watching Pedersen, waiting for a little bit of a vision, still traveling through that hollow part of the wave. Sets up a top turn and end section approaching, he slams it. So a couple of maneuvers, the finish the biggest. And the Brazilian Storm loving that approach. Maybe this one will, Joe. It was a beautiful little drainer. Pulls in nice and deep and gets that travel time. Comes out nice and clean and finishes with a couple of big turns. So he comboed it up, which the judges want to see finishing on your feet as well. 3.47. I'm thinking that he's going to get it. Back doors, this little section here tucks nice and tight. Beautiful, clean little barrel. That was uh, definitely a fun little way for Pedersen Crisanto. He's been struggling the early part of the season. Numbers in at a 6.27 for Crisanto to save himself from the elimination round. Jacob Wilcox catching this wave just running out of time. Will be sent to the elimination round and Pedersen moves on to the round of 32 along with Felipe Toledo.